My first thought, it was a milial cyst, so I got an 11 blade and tried to extract it. Nothing came out, so I numbed it. The top, looked at it. It's almost like he has a tooth stuck in his forehead. Started pushing on it with the Q-tips. It's so deeply into the skin. To lift it away from very hard, firm material. What do you think? Hmm, what was this rock hard bump that felt like a tooth when I pulled it out? Thankfully, I was able to give the patient really good news. And thank you for your differential diagnosis. Osteoma cutis, calcified cyst. Lucky Charms Marshmallow is my favorite. Dystrophic calcinosis cutis. So you guys were on the right track in terms of calcification. You can see this in adults and kids, and it's a benign tumor that originates from hair follicle cells. Great job to those of you who guessed the correct diagnosis, pilomatricoma, or the other name is pilomatrixoma. Shout out to Dermnet for having this photo. We see this on the head and neck very commonly, but I have excised some pretty large calcified pilomatricoma on the upper extremities. Under the microscope, it has its characteristic ghost cells where you're losing the nucleus and cytoplasmic features. Again, if you have a spot that's an ugly duckling, a spot that's becoming painful, it's bleeding and it's not healing in four weeks. So if you have a history of internal cancer, you can have the tumors up here on the skin. I've had patients who came in with a hard bump in the breast, same side as their breast cancer, and it felt like a cyst, and we'd excise it, send it to the lab just to be sure, and sometimes we'll find recurrent breast cancer. If you have a history of cancer, you wanna let your dermatologist know about those things. Hope this helps, peace.